Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at glaciers. The formation of glaciers. A glacier is a mass of ice moving down a valley. Its formation is relatively simple. As snow falls on a surface, it begins to accumulate into a mass. The snowflake structure is a structure that naturally has trapped air inside it. So as the snowflakes pile up, they naturally have a lot of air inside it and that snow has a lot of air which is going to have to then be compressed. As more of this snow that has a lot of air inside it accumulates, the weight exerted on the bottom of the snow begins to get compressed and the mass forces the air out and makes a compact structure. This is called fern. After more time, the air is fully pressed out and a solid block of ice of really, really compact fern then forms. Types of glaciers. There's two types of glaciers, the first of which is a temperate glacier. These are glaciers which melt in the summer due to higher temperatures. The meltwater makes the glacier melt due to basal flow, and we're going to be looking at the types of flow later. Basal flow is basically the flow of a glacier down the valley because of the meltwater underneath the glacier, which then makes it slip. It is therefore more likely to erode at a greater rate because of this meltwater that it possesses. Polar glaciers are the second type. These are glaciers which do not melt at all because the temperature is always at zero degrees. They do not have meltwater at all because they don't melt, obviously, so they move by internal deformation. What this is, is the ice crystals um, orientate themselves in the direction of flow and slide past each other. They are therefore less likely to erode due to not having any meltwater and they move at a slower rate. Glacial zones. Parts of the glacier behave differently. Here we have two zones in the glacier, the lower zone and the upper zone. The upper zone has less pressure on it and hence has no meltwater. It moves by internal flow. In other words, internal flow can also be described as e um, internal deformation. It moves faster as there is less friction exerted on it. Compared to the lower zone, there's more friction because it's moving along the bedrock. The lower zone has more pressure on it and therefore has meltwater. It moves by basal flow. It's slower because there is uh, no meltwater and the friction exerted on it because of the bedrock then makes it slow down. When it, is, when it does have meltwater, however, it's probably going to move slightly faster because with the reduced friction exerted from the lubricated uh, bedrock due to the meltwater, it's going to move faster. However, generally, the upper zone always moves fastest. Here are some questions on glaciers. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on glacial budget. As always, thank you for watching. Visit the channel or the website for more information. Or tweet me at revisealevel if you need any more information or questions. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.